G'day. Hi. Kate is in Canada. She left three days ago. And we're in La Paz right now, and we decided whether to just hang out here for the two weeks that she's gone, or start heading north ourselves. There was lots of discussion about how comfortable we felt about that. The weather looks good. We've got some good hops in protected anchorages that I think are gonna be safe for us, so we're gonna do it. Yeah? I don't know, I'm nervous. Yeah, understandable. And that's okay to be a bit nervous, I am as well. But I wouldn't go if I didn't think we couldn't do it. So we're gonna be good. And Kate left and she's like, oh, can you film? I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. And the last three days, it's a lot of work. Route planning and weather and looking after the boat, that's almost a full-time job in itself. And then when you think about the kids with their school, also the cooking that has to be involved, the provisioning. Oh man, so it's been really busy the last three days, but we're now about an hour off from leaving. We're waiting for the turn of tide so we can catch a ride out. You guys tidying up for me? Yep. Thanks. I'm Kate, and this is my husband Mick. Our kids, Thomas and Bentley. Five years ago, we had this crazy idea to travel the world with our kids, and never did we imagine our mode of transportation would be a sailboat. These are my parents. It's been their lifelong dream to sail across oceans. And so together, a dream was born. Come along with us as we learn, laugh, I play with, I play with boats. And explore. And hey, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm feeling a bit nervous. I've got this funny feeling in my gut that I haven't had for a long time. But still a funny feeling, just not having that backup of Kate there. And I know Tommy will do a great job and we'll be fine. It's a short hop today, but it's just a different feeling. One that we, one that I haven't experienced yet. Stop there and yeah. just watch the weight of the chain pull us forward. See that? Mm -hmm. And then when it goes straight down, you can go a bit more. Thanks, mate. Good job. Welcome. I feel like dropping the anchor is way more difficult. And even in Belanger, it's tricky there. So yeah. that's kind of just... why I didn't want to stop there. Sure. I might be able to just get the boat in position and then just run up and release it myself. I, I mean, I'll still be up here. Yeah, appreciate that. Thanks, pal. You're welcome. We're leaving La Paz. Whoa. Yeah, yeah I Dolphins are saying bye, saying thanks for visiting La Paz. <laughs> Oh, there's more up there, there's more up there. Who's driving the boat? Uh, no one. Okay, I better go. Look at that. Whoa! I heard it! Did ya? Yeah! Woohoo! Something amazing is about to happen. We're about to overtake our first sailboat under motor. I don't think that's ever happened before. We are like a slow snail. We've passed boats before under sail, but never have we passed one under power.
we're sailing now. The breeze is filled in. Probably got about four tacks up to Belandra. Hopefully we'll be there in about three hours or so. She's looking great though now. We're doing awesome. That's lunch, that's what they get. We're under sail, we're heeled over at close to 10 degrees. Trucking along, we're almost there, it's just behind us. No complaining, no complaining kids. Eat your lunch. Spicy. Is it spicy? Like super hot? Because it wasn't the fire ones. Well, the fire was probably really bad. Okay, well, you guys okay to do something yourself then? Yeah. Maybe mix it in. All the stuff's on top still. Take the lid off. Try that. We are anchored in Balandra again, third time. That went pretty well. Mm -hmm. You guys playing games? Yeah. Yes, we What's it called? Uh, Lego on the floor is Oh, Steppy Lego on the floor, Steppy, I love it. Steppy on the Lego on the floor. Hold mask on and then you start. What did we just do, pal? Hold up the anchor. Yeah, we did. And then there's a fair bit of breeze blowing. I'm going to guess it's at least 15. And we did awesome. So we're leaving Belandra for the last time this season. And now we're on our way to Isla San Francisco. It's about 30, 35 miles. And I expect it to take most of the day. It's now 6.30, 6.45 a.m. And the Coromel winds are blowing pretty strong from the south and they'll be doing that up until about 11 a.m. So we're leaving early to, hey Benny, to try and make the most of those as we head north, having those winds behind us, which will be just a real treat. Trucking along nicely here. Wind's dying off a little bit. Um, keeps kind of coming behind us. You can hear the jib flopping around. I thought about getting the pole up. I'm just really trying to keep things simple myself. And the wind changes a lot. Direction changes a lot around here. So it's hard to just kind of set sails and leave them for hours on end. Something, it's always moving around. So we're just gonna pull off course a little here. Should pick up some speed and keep the sails full. Ooh, this is a long way. The wind has switched around now from behind us around to the north, so we've got it just forward of the beam, and I've just raised the stay sail, so now I have a full set of sails up, minus one reef in the main, just to make things easier while I'm by myself. And um, we're trucking along good again, making good time. We should be there just before dinner. Some days, very thankful that we have an autopilot. Today is one of those days. The kids just keep eating. Sandwiches and, or oh, Jackdaw gave us some muffins, which was great. Now I'm making a smoothie, some berries. And avocado, a banana, pineapple juice. Look at that goodness. Oh yeah. Looking pretty clear.
smoothie. What do you say? Getting closer. We're about an hour away. You can see it right there, Isla San Francisco. Um, this is, I can't believe today, this is like a sailor's dream. We had wind behind us all morning and then it stopped for like 20 minutes which allowed me to adjust the sails and now it's coming straight off the beam from the northeast. And it's just perfect. We have made it! Is the San Francisco is right there. The wind is right off our beam now. And the anchorage is right off our beam. So I've just got the engine started. We'll pull the sails in tight. Then we will turn to starboard into the wind, drop the sails, and then just cruise on into the anchorage and anchor. How's it look, man? Good. What did we just do? Anchor. Woohoo! It's our second time. Nice. Oh, look at the color of that water. Nice. Look at that. Wow. There's a Moonar Eclipse happening right now. A Moonar Eclipse. A um, Lunar. A Lunar Eclipse, thank you. You said Moonar. Thank you, child. <laughs> what an end to the day. What do you think, kid? We're all pooped, aren't we? That was yeah. a big day of sailing. Anyway, we're exhausted. We're gonna have a good rest and we're gonna spend the day here tomorrow. 